Hey, boys and girls. So I want to do a film study that is almost as much a Devery Henderson film study as it is a Deontay Harris film study. I want to talk about how he can go from being the X factor to being the Z the Saints have needed for some time. And when I talk about Z, I'm talking about a specific position. You can check out the video I made quite some time ago about the different types of receivers. You have split in, tight end, a slot receiver, and then a Z receiver, and a flex tight end basically kind of falls into the mold of a slot slash tight end. So various forms of players in the National Football League and actually football in general, but how specifically can we have this guy become more of a player that we're used to seeing in, say, a Devery Henderson, a true Z? And you can make the legitimate argument, in my opinion, that Brandon Cooks was a true Z. Yes, when Brandon Cooks was here before Michael Thomas, he did operate as a primary receiver, but his most successful routes have always been the traditional routes of a flanker receiver. So let's talk about Deontay and the best play he had last year, which was in the playoffs, where he absolutely cooked Xavier Rhodes. It is a post route, but he adds a very nice little veteran move here. And I'll have it on screen, and we'll, we'll talk about it here. Get my Madden pin out, but we're going to watch the play first because that's just kind of what we do around here. And if he gets hit in stride, this is an easy touchdown. Sadly, not hit in stride, but still a very, very nice play. Let's back it on up, though. So what's, what, first, let's identify how he's operating. So he is operating as your outside man and as your flanker, where you've got – this is a trips bunch where we've got our tight end who's going to motion – We've got Michael Thomas, and then we've got our outside man, Deontay Harris, who's going to pull the outside responsibility of the zone coverage that you currently have Minnesota in. And you can see their zone by how they're aligning. Look at the alignment of the hips and the feet of the linebacker. We are focused on this guy. We're not focused on our man coverage. So they're seeing zone, and Deontay, as a rookie, does a good job of recognizing this. And when I say recognizing it, he knows that his goal – is the middle of the field. And you're seeing a single high look, but seeing the zone and knowing that they, what they like to drop back into, he can expect this to become the single, uh, the uh, first part of the zone and this to drop back into the second half. So he knows he needs to find a way to open up the middle of the field and attack it. Now let's look at how he does that. And I will give credit to Minnesota. The Saints try to clear out the middle of the field with Michael Thomas. So the idea is to run a deep drag so that your safety down here bites and that you draw in that linebacker, preventing what essentially is like a Tampa 2 coverage where you have two deep guys and a linebacker cover in the hole, which is where Deontay wants to go. Now, Deontay's role is simple. He needs to attack the inside shoulder first of the DB that he's facing and then attack the outside once he's made about 10 yards downfield. Basically 12-ish steps for him. So let's see, one, two, three, not 12-ish steps, about 12 yards. But anyway, you see we're starting right at the 40, 46, and then we're going to get down to the other 45, and then we're going to attack right at 12 yards right there. So it's subtle. Well, look what he's doing. He's going to plant this right foot, and you're looking at his hips. You're looking at his shoulders. He does a slight angle change right in front of the DB. Now, this entire time, you'll watch Deontay is attacking the inside shoulder of Xavier Rhodes. Straight up field. If you look, he's got his eyes. He's basically beeline on this side. He's attacking the inside. That way we're turning that guy in. As soon as the hips turn, though, now we need to flip him back. Because once we get his back turned, we can then attack behind him. Go where the player's not. Simple football. Simple everything. That's exactly what you do with that extreme, almost like a dino stem bend, just kind of like inverted He's going to attack out. As soon as he sees that plant, that's when he swaps. He does not swap when the back actually gets turned. He swaps when he sees the plant foot, which is the outside leg, become the inside leg. And plant, turn, now he breaks in, and now he's wide open. At this point, he is beyond wide open. You could make an argument that because the back is turned, he no longer exists here. You can just imagine it becomes a 10-man defense. This is the point that you would like to hit in stride. Maybe a big arm guy, James Winston maybe, is able to hit this throw in stride, but you still get 50 yards. Wide the heck open. He has to adjust to it. Great job adjusting the ball, reeling it in. But now let's talk about some other ways that you can see the Saints deploy him, and I'm going to use Devery Henderson as a reference, going way back in the way back machine. I'm actually going to have to adjust my screen because they didn't have 1080p back then. It's like a box. It's weird. Now, I chose this first play of Dever Henderson because it's literally what we just watched. So 
I like to show, here, look at this resolution. It's crazy. It's like we're going back in the past. Anyway, I, I love this because we're seeing a version of Deontay essentially happening already. Now, once again, Trips Bunch, I think we're working on some of these big players here. We're not going to bring up names because, you know, things can be salty. But this is actually the pass that broke the Johnny Unitas record of Drew Brees throwing the most touchdown passes in a row. And right here, you'll see the same thing. Attack, outside. He attacks outside far more aggressively than Deontay does. Turn it back upfield. And to a point, though, that it's actually better. And Deborah Henderson is actually better at what he's doing than Deontay. So, upfield. So we're going to attack the inside shoulder. He's going to break inside because of the off coverage is very off. So he waits. And now what he's doing is two things. One, he's getting the back turn. But two, he's getting the momentum of the DB working down. And I'm not saying what Deontay did was wrong or bad by any means. But what, De what Devery is doing is a more effective move and far more emphatic in how he's going about it. It's far more um, – one, it's harder to pull off. A little bit more athleticism. So watch the plant of Devery. He waits until the momentum of the DB brings him down. Not necessarily worried about the back being turned, but worried about the movement of him. And now Devery's going to kick on the guns. And look at the speed. Boop. And now we got, what, 10 yards of separation and an easy touchdown. But same idea, just using a different style of move. But the play is still the same. We've got a single high look. We've actually ended up in uh, cover three, essentially. But we still got the guy coming across the middle to try to draw. We want to make sure this area is clear. We don't want anybody hovering over the top for the safety, so we have to make sure there's somebody to bring him and hold him down. And then we require a one-on-one -on -one win, and that's exactly what we get from Devery. And that's what you want from a Z receiver, to be a deep threat. And too many people confuse deep threat with pure speed. This has nothing to do with speed. Time this right now. So right at snap. Come on. Come on. Snap the ball for me, Drew. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi. All right, so about four seconds to catch that pass, and we're only going, what, 30 yards. So you talk about burner speed, guys who can run the 40 and, you know, 4-3. Basically, at the point of the catch, they're getting there in three seconds. You're not asking a guy to be super fast. You're asking him to be super technical and correct for a type of quarterback that you have, which is one that even at this point has never been a true deep arm. But it's all about timing how you attack and using the type of Z receiver the Saints have used, which is exactly what Devery shows off here. Now we're going to look at another Devery play in another way that I want to see the Saints use him besides that one type of post route and the same type of move. All right, so excuse the quality, uh, but this is against the Chicago Bears going back many years. And this is attacking a Tampa 2 defense. And I want you to watch how Devery does it. And he's working out of the slot right here. You just have to deal with the blurry vision of the ancient days. Man, imagine having to study film back in the day. Also, love the split backs. Let's get back to that. And you're going to see on this play, this is one of the things that I want to see from Deontay for the reason of after Drew. So I'm giving Deontay time to grow into this. But specifically for all those that have always said Drew could never throw the football, this is a refresher for you Saints fans that forgot Drew used to be able to do this. Watch this pass. Yeah, we're just going to let you watch the pass from the 20-yard line to the opposing 30. Now, for those that can't do math, 20 to 50 is 30, then 50 to 30 is 20. Throws it over 50 yards in stride. You let me know the last time Drew Brees did that for all you people who like to debate me on whether there's arm strength. Anyway, but what I specifically love is is the technique of how he's attacking. One, he's got to get past the first layer, which is the zone underneath. So he's got to get past this linebacker and do it in a way that he doesn't get rubbed because this requires a lot of timing and speed. And then he's got to beat the Tampa 2. Basically, he's got to get past the hole that Brian Erlacher's falling into. My gosh. And then he's got to capture the middle of the field so that Drew can get him the football. And then hopefully the future, a Taysom Hill or a Jameis Winston, whoever ends up being the guy, can do this exact same thing. But similar type of strategy, look how he attacks, and then look how he turns in. But this isn't about being a speedy guy. Yes, he's fast. I mean, Dever definitely has some jets, but you're not seeing him win with separation. You're seeing him win with technique. How did he do that? Watch the subtle movements early in the route. All right, so right here, see how he's not running full speed? He's slowing into the route, so he's making sure he can – he's not selling the route that he's giving to the safety. So the safety doesn't need to go ahead and leak over. He wants to make sure that he's – 
got his timing down, so his steps are being counted. Watch the little shimmy. You see the little shimmy he gave to the linebacker? That's simply helping make sure he gets through clean. And then we're turning as soon as we hit about the middle point of where the linebacker and the safety are in between. So as soon as he gets about in the middle of that, he wants to make his break. And then he cuts off. And then here's the big thing, body positioning. And Deontay can still do this as a guy who's not that big because they can't fight through you. And as long as you use good body positioning, that's all you really need. And this is what I'll see Deontay also grow into, using good body positioning because Brandon Cooks was actually able to do this a good bit too. Brandon Cooks has never been a yards after catch guy, but he was very good with his hands and he was very good with body positioning on all these throws to where he knew how to run the route. And that's kind of what we're talking about with Deontay growing as a deep threat. He doesn't need to run a 4-3. He simply needs to be a 4-3, I guess, in terms of technique. And good to every Henderson play. Let's look at another one. One more and we'll wrap. All right, so this is the final play that we're going to use to show what I want from Deontay to be a, a complete Z receiver. And first you're going to ask me, well, how do I know that Devery Henderson is a Z receiver here. Well, if you remember the video I made before, and this is just a quick little tidbit, Z receivers or flankers play off the line of scrimmage. So slot receivers and flankers play off the line, about two yards back, whereas split ends and tight ends usually play on the line. Now, keep in mind, that's a spot. So a guy like Michael Thomas is not always going to be on the line of scrimmage at the snap. Sometimes he plays back two yards based on whatever position he's playing. But for a flanker that we're looking at, we want to see Deontay do this. And here's why it's important and why I'm bringing it up as a flanker. Because this added space will allow him to overcome any physical deficiency he has that he would suffer from things like press coverage. So what this requires is good route technique, quick feet, and quick hands. Now watch Devery Henderson do it, and I'll show you why I want Deontay Harris to do it. So Drew's going to call it out. We got a little bit of motion of Robert Meacham here to the bottom. We got one-on-one -on -one at the top. You see there's a jam attempt right here with Devery attacking. He's going to break outside, and then look that. Over against single high, safety can't come over. Still has enough speed to make the play. Drew does a beautiful pass that he can still do to this day easily, and you've got a great little shot. Touchdown against the uh, Green Bay Packers way back in the day. I can't believe I'm going through this old film. Okay, so watch the at the line of scrimmage. The key is he's not at the line, so he's able to do certain things. So watch him break out quick. Quick breakout. You see the foot patterns here? So we're selling what we're doing. We're Technically, we're matching up what we're doing. As soon as the cornerback commits, that's when Devery makes his move, though. Uh, that's the key. And then he breaks outside with quickness. He's not breaking outside with... with and the, this is another thing when people bring up speed all the time. What Devery's doing right here is called acceleration and foot quickness, not speed. Yeah, Devery will beat you in a foot race, but this has nothing to do with him beating you in a foot race. Beating you with acceleration and quickness, which I believe Deontay Harris has. Watch what he's going to do. He's going to form the matchup, and as soon as the corner commits, right there in the jam, beat it. Swipe, just a quick little swipe, and he's already moving his entire body. You see how the steps he counted to where he's launching with that plant foot already? It's a really good job, Debra Henderson. Little things that made you so good, I miss you. And then, bam, he wins with quickness. Now, this part, you can argue, is speed. He accelerated and got to a top end speed. But the winning itself did not require 4 3, 4 4 amazing speed. It required good technique and route running. Devery then maybe gets into the end zone because of the deep speed, arguably. But the pass and the completion and the success happens because of technique. And this is the level I'll need Deontay to get you to be that flanker. But we've seen him start to show little glimpses of that already. And I'm excited to see him as a player. So. The last thing I really want to say is I want to know your thoughts. What do you think it takes for him to become that guy? What do you think about this film study? I'm glad about doing film studies again. I've really been looking forward to this. I want your comments down below. I want you to like the channel by hitting the little uh, subscribe button. I want you to give it a thumbs up. I want you to pass around to all Saints fans. I want to start a discussion on can Deontay Harris be the flanker of the future for the New Orleans Saints because it is a position in limbo. Traquan Smith has not lived up to it. Ted Ginn is gone and was at the end of his career anyway. Galloway is a, a rookie UDFA out of Tennessee. Who can be the guy? Can Deontay Harris go from X Factor to Z? We'll just have to wait and see. Love y'all. Who dat? God bless. We'll catch you on the next video. Bam.